Question, what's the most powerful tool in the world? Go. It's not, no, it's not these heavy machines. No, it's nothing to do with power tools. No, 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 no. Come out of that. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that. The most powerful tool in this world that we all have access to is right here. It's the mind. You didn't think of that, did you? Right? So it's the mind that is the most powerful tool. Unfortunately, 99% of people on this planet don't know how to unlock its potential, even a tiny bit of its potential. It's such a shame. We've got this powerhouse sitting right there doing nothing, twiddling its thumbs, and we just keep going through life thinking, oh, if only I could do this, if only I had that. Let's use it, right? It's sitting right there. Let's use it and let's start enjoying life. Let's start achieving our goals. Let's start seeing results and let's start loving life even more. Stay with me to the end of this video. I'm going to prove how this is a powerhouse and I'm also going to share with you tips and techniques of how you can unlock its potential. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> So when someone says something to me, they say, for instance, oh, this pill is magic. It's fantastic. I always go back with, how do you know? Prove it to me. Don't just say something to me. Prove it. Show me evidence. Show me stats. Show me facts, right? So the, there was a study that was conducted on a group of people who suffered from really bad headaches. And they were told by a group of people in white coats. We automatically trust people in white coats, don't we? We assume that this is a doctor, a pharmacist, a chemist, whatever. They know what they're talking about. So whatever they say, we trust them. These patients suffering from really bad headaches were told by people in lab coats that, listen, every time you get a really bad headache, just pop one of these at the back of your throat, swallow it, and miraculously, your headache is going to disappear. These are really strong painkillers. But in actual fact, the patients weren't told that, no, this isn't a strong painkiller. It's just a pill of sugar. That's it. It's a pill made of sugar. They weren't told that. They were just told these are strong painkillers. So the patients go away every time they have symptoms of a headache, swallow one of these pills, and guess what? Over 60% of these patients reported that the pain went away. Does that make sense to you? That you swallow a pill of sugar and the pain goes away. That's not right, is it? What does that mean? How can we explain that? It's the power of the mind. As soon as the mind sees, okay, there's a person there in a lab coat, authoritative figure, they give me a pill, they've told me that this is a painkiller, my mind puts two and two together, I believe 100% this is a painkiller. So when I swallow it, it could be whatever it needs to be. As long as I believe that that's a painkiller, it's going to get rid of my pain. That is the power of the mind. OK, let's have a few more examples. This actually happened to me in real life. I only had a matter of a few weeks where I had to come up with a lump sum. And if I didn't, I'd lose either part of my furniture, they'd come and take my car away. I was in a really, really sticky place quite some time ago. So I was, yeah, really struggling financially. And all I could think of, I was really stressed. All I could think of was, oh my God, I can't do this. I won't be able to do this. I'm going to lose my car. I'm going to lose my TV. I'm going to lose whatever, whatever, whatever. This is all that happened to me in my head. But then all I had to do was I shifted my mindset. Instead of saying, I can't do this. There's no way I can do it. I started asking myself, OK, how can I make this possible? Right. Just with shifting a very, very few, very basic words that became my new mindset. Layla, you're not going to take no for an answer. Impossible doesn't exist in your vocabulary. It is possible. The question is, how are you going to make it happen? 
And I realized as soon as I shifted my mindset, I started paying more attention to my uh, outgoings, my incomings. I started being more aware of anywhere that I could, you know, save a little bit of money. My mind started becoming very proactive in thinking, coming up with ideas of how to maybe create products to sell to my customers. It started helping me, my brain started helping me think of ideas where I can make a little bit of money on the side. So I realized that just by shifting my mindset, I was starting to bring in quite an impressive amount of money just because I started to believe that, yes, I can do it. The only question is, how can I achieve it? So if I hadn't shifted my mindset, I would have remained in that really sticky position and unfortunately, I would have ended up in a very negative, very um, uncomfortable <laughs> situation, right? So that's actually something I personally experienced. Let me give you one more example. Let's say, for instance, you were a child, okay, many, many years ago, and something really traumatic, really painful and hurtful happened to you. It could be, unfortunately, you might have witnessed something terrible, something might have happened to you, you were involved in maybe an incident, injury, something like that. What were the symptoms that your body went through at that time? You might have felt pain, you might have been sweating, you might have had heart palpitations, you might have felt really, really stressed and uncomfortable, right? So that's what actually happened at the time that you experienced this horrible traumatic event. Fast forward to today. So we've gone years past that event. You're nice and safe right now. That's not going to happen to you again. But all you need to bring all those symptoms back is to think about it. As soon as you start remembering that very painful memory, guess what? You feel like your heart starts beating. You feel like you've got tiny sweat glands that are starting to work and you're starting to sweat. You start feeling anxious, stressed, maybe agitated, maybe angry. These are the symptoms that start showing in your body. But that doesn't make sense, does it? Because right now nothing traumatic has happened to you. You're sitting somewhere comfortable watching this video. Why would your body suddenly want to create these really weird symptoms? Again, it's in the power of the mind. So even if something traumatic is not happening to me right now, just thinking about it will trigger these symptoms. And this is how we start stressing over something that isn't even real. Something that might have happened years ago, I'm still stressing over it. Why? Because I'm thinking about it. So whatever we think about, if it's negative, we start showing negative symptoms. And the flip side is true as well. If I start purposely thinking of good things, happy memories, stuff I'm really proud of, stuff that I've achieved, what happens? I suddenly want to take a deep breath and I'm happy. I feel accomplished. Why is that? I haven't actually done anything right now. The fact that I've been thinking about it triggers these symptoms and these responses in our mind. If I keep thinking about stuff that I can't do, I don't have, I haven't accomplished, guess what? That's where I'll constantly be living. I'll constantly be experiencing feelings of anxiety, depression, upset, all that kind of thing. Whereas if I shift my mindset, there's no magic pill, there's no hidden secret or anything. All it takes is shifting my mindset. If I start thinking about something positive, then obviously my outlook on life will be completely different. There's something, um, there's something that we teach our kids from when they're very, very young, um, and that is lucky charm, lucky charm. You might have it in your culture if you're from a different country. It's a lucky charm. So kids believe in a lucky charm. Their lucky charm could be their little blankie, blanket. It could be maybe a little stuffed toy. It could be, I don't know, for older kids, it could be a piece of jewellery. It could be a pen. It could be absolutely anything. For some people, it's even pieces of clothing, <laughs> They wear something. Oh, this is my lucky charm. I'm going for an interview today. You know, so anything, absolutely anything can be that person's lucky charm. And let's face it, that thing, that item, that blanket, that toy, that pen, that piece of clothing isn't actually something that's going to bring you luck, 
It's all in here, isn't it? If I believe that this blanket, this pen is going to give me good luck, I'll start seeing positive signs all around me, right? And I'll start thinking to myself, oh my God, I'm so happy that, you know, I've got this pen with me. It's my lucky charm. So if, for instance, I make it just in time to catch the train, I think to myself, oh my God, it's the power of that pen. Thank goodness I've got this pen with me. It's my lucky charm. Or let's say, for instance, I get to uh, the canteen and I manage to buy the very last sandwich, the very last, I don't know, cupcake or whatever that they have. And I think to myself, oh, it's my lucky charm working for me. This isn't real. There is no such thing as a lucky charm. At the end of the day, it's a pen, it's a blanket, it's a piece of clothing, it's not real. It's all in the power of the mind. So this is something we even teach our kids from a very young age. Oh, don't forget your lucky charm. It's all in the power of the mind. So if we can shift our mindset from negative to positive, instead of saying, there's no way I can do this, changing the mindset to, okay, how can I make this happen? Instead of no way, how? How can I make this happen? You will start seeing that the mind starts working in your favor. It starts helping you come up with ideas. It starts helping you to generate positivity, confidence, and that will help you be able to achieve any goal that you want to achieve. I hope you found this video useful. These are just a few things that I personally experience. They helped me personally immensely, and I hope they help you too. Do drop a comment down below. Just let me know if firstly, you found this video interesting and useful. And secondly, more importantly, have any of these things actually happened to you? Have you experienced any of these things? I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.